Hello guys, I'm seeing from RanaBitcoinNode.com. This is the Raspberry B um, alternative, uh, Raspberry B4 alternative, also in 2023. Rana Bitcoin Node. So it's called Android M1, 8 gigabyte RAM. You can see that the size is like less than uh, the floor plan, let's say, or how it's called. The, this is heatsink. The size is half SSD and less than two SSD. And I already opened it. This goes here. Because of the heatsink, it will not be... Uh, I ran already one month or so. It's also cheaper now and at least you can find it than Raspberry Pi. So it's very great alternative. You can see it's heatsink. It's connected with the... Because the it slides away easily. You only need... Um, two screwdrivers and one is actually together with the NVMe Samsung 970 EVA Plus uh, SSD that goes inside here. There is even space for the Pro version of this Be Quiet MC1 Pro. There is, uh, it's better to put the heatsink. So everything is very compact, doesn't consume any energy. Directly the Ubuntu goes here and they can install very easily less than 20 minutes the, um, with one command from the terminal i can install the uh, umbrella os if you are not running lightning node uh, not as, uh, keeping your own bitcoin here umbrella is okay uh, i'm waiting for the run citadel to make a version for uh, not only raspberry and that's it, uh, very wife friendly, fiance friendly, even girlfriend friendly. You can say it's a media center, modem, whatever. It has USB 3, eventually. You can even put, uh, there is a kit. As you can see, there is holes. There is a kit to put the ASSD somewhere here. Okay, don't remember what way, but then there is no space for the for the aluminium box. But uh, surprise, surprise! If you already have, I already opened this Samsung Evo 860 is also good. I used the Crucial one, MX 500. Um, so surprise, surprise! I already opened it. There is four little screws. So if I, I would open up from here also, you can see that this uh, is only like a heatsink probably, as you can see from here, probably it's like, uh, works like a heatsink, but you could install it, uh, maybe taking away, if you have this or you have another SSD, uh, that is SSD, not HD, HDD, you can probably install it somewhere here. Okay, it goes over the heat. So the, the attachments are here. So probably there would be a way to keep it here. There is a kit like 10 euros dollars. You could keep it here somewhere. This is reset actually. So you need to be careful with this one, but you could install it here inside easily without all this box. And then you can put the box over and it would be still compact. But this is a little bit faster, I like it more, and there is RAM inside, and I had some articles about it in my website also, why it's good, why it's perfect for the Bitcoin full node. Okay, so this is another tip. So um, I show you also exactly how to, I have an article, how to install it, just one command, you maybe need to update the sudo in case it doesn't take the, to install the umbrella command then first you update uh, sudo if i remember correctly yeah and it's easy or you can buy a, a plug and play node from me that is this Android m1 8 gigabyte ram that is perfect and you can see that the gpu and ram is the other side so it's connected with this heatsink that is part of the body already it's genius okay thank you bye
and it's perfect alternative for the Raspberry B4 to run a Bitcoin node. I need to say this also. Okay, thank you. I hope it was useful. Bye bye. Let me know in the comments if you have some questions. So the second part of the video, I will uh, show you um, how to install um, Ubuntu and uh, Umbrella OS in your NVMe SSD, uh, better Samsung 970 uh, Evo Plus. Uh, I prepared article for it, it's in my website, I put a link in the description. Raspberry Pi 4 alternative, Odroid M1, 50GB RAM, the ultimate uh, do-it-yourself quid. So here we have, <coughs> uh, maybe I will do this article better, but uh, 2 terabyte for sure it's better for the full node. Um, uh, you can buy it even um, from my website, from the shop. Um, and there is article why Odroid is good alternative excellent alternative actually so if you do it yourself you can get it under 300 euros mm. one terabyte option will be around 250 euros and in my website you can order it under 400 euros uh, or a little bit more uh, the two terabyte option i have two terabyte option running the one i showed you so the hardware you need is from art kernel uh, then you need to pay more for shipping and for the you need to pay some uh, uh, watt and uh, whatever uh, toll tax. I'm not sure how much it is. I'm in Europe. I ordered for from Odroid NL. Then it was 162 euros. There is some video about it. I show the invoice. Uh, then it's included with the PSU metal case and shipping taxes already. Uh, this price then from Amazon or from some other similar price it was faster I ordered 105 euros the 2 terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus NVMe M2 SSD M key then I ordered 15 euros be quiet MC1 NVMe heatsink I would order MC1 Pro now I wasn't sure that there is space but there is it's only 5 millimeters higher and it would be 20 euros so the total would be under 300 euros or the one terabyte version would be less than 250 euros so um, with this price maybe you can find either the raspberry p4 now 200 euros so and this one is faster heatsink is uh, um, integrated as i said it doesn't get hot and it's uh, more reliable, reliable and it uses the NVMe uh, because it's directly in the board not uh, you don't need to connect any external SSD with uh, even if it's USB 3 it's always better to have it directly in the board and it's faster so then what you need is uh, around 30 euros you need the M2 SSD external exclosure for M key uh, I use the Silicon Power SP uh, PD60 uh, it's always somewhere in my videos uh, so with this you can flash uh, thanks to the black flash the Ubuntu OS with the Palen Nature there is a link uh, and then you can um, flash it basically you can take the Android 1 version GNOME desktop other versions it's more difficult to make it work um, I tried also I think but uh, there is no point so it's better to have this um, server only has like a terminal so uh, this i tried but it's better to have ubuntu normal desktop version you can find the link to os image from this link but of course i already put it here it's like uh, deep i think and then uh, it's very easy to flash it in the disk uh, there is also video already about it in my channel then uh, before and then yeah better to install the heatsink after that but of course you can do it before also but then you can put the case around and screwdriver and four screws are included um, 
finita uh, are the four screws of the metal case yes then what you need is uh, uh, plug in the HDMI cable, LAN cable and uh, the power cable into Android M1 uh, wait like 10 seconds to put it up then the password to log in to Ubuntu is Android and the uh, username also is Android then click command control key and search for terminal or if you have a mouse so you need a keyboard basically but if you also have a mouse then you can just find terminal and enter command curl minus l https umbrel dot sh um, uh, bash um, so this one if there is mash message bash curl command not found then proceed to install gcurl on ubuntu linux is as follows update your ubuntu so sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade Next, install curl, sudo apt install curl, and then verify installation. You can do also curl and you can see the version. The source where I found this info is here. Then enter again command uh, to install Umbrel, and it takes like 20 minutes maximum 10 to 20 minutes. And then you will see some messages like Umbrel installed or similar, and you can see also the message shows um, the address where the Umbrella is accessible. It will be something like Umbrella local. Um, you, and then you can use whatever PC Mac you have at home connected with your Wi Fi uh, to connect this Umbrella local. Uh, maybe this is also not clear. It wasn't for me at least. I'm waiting to run uh, Citadel also uh, to make a version not only for uh, Raspberry Pi to try it out. Then uh, the apps I would install is Bitcoin, Tor, Lightning Network app uh, that you can uh, basically set up after one week or less it can be five six days to sync the full node the Bitcoin network blockchain that is now by what? sorry sorry it's over 100 um, 560 gigabytes and then uh, elects you can connect with your uh, Bitcoin only hardware wallet, example Bitbox02, then Mempool, you can see the, the fees and uh, transmission plex you can use to download videos um, on torrent. And that's it. Uh, if you set up a lighting node, I would only use it for uh, Bitcoin things. I wouldn't install other things. If you just want to run, help the Bitcoin network, you can then you can use it also for other uh, systems I, or I would use an uh, old computer so it would be better to have dedicated device and also you can find article in my blog why a dedicated device is better but for sure instead of day-to-day -day computer anyway that's why we are actually wanting to run a Bitcoin now this is uh, like safest reason for us but of course it's also good just to support the Bitcoin uh, network and to run the node and then um, I would really recommend Odroid M1 instead of like it's a good alternative for Raspberry Pi 4 uh, even in 2023 others are more expensive and they don't have NVMe in the board anyway so the Odroid M1 is very compact I haven't had problem with it I unplug I plug in I also use some oops um, but I, I've taken it off so many times without turning it on off properly on and off on and off just taking away the the, the power cord and uh, it just boots up again after one minute it's still it's, uh, umbrella is running automatically so it works so maybe you find also some useful articles here that I write I write about Citadel not sure how the migrating um, is uh, uh, it will be future possible in the future very easily so here is my Bitcoin node hardware, home server, eShop and actually only one that I have now so actually one option is you could do old Mac mini, especially the mini 2014 late 2013 ones, you can put also the NVMe there and then this one I just still need to test out um, but this one, so yeah this one here I, we could put Synology alternative probably in 
or also the um, start 9 uh, how it's called start os whatever it's called the start 9.com one and uh, here this one can be okay for lighting it has only 4 kilowatt RAM so if I select this option you can see I have one two terabyte option available and EU UK US uh, adapter power adapter yeah and here goes the NV and uh, uh, SSD it's perfect you can see it here actually yeah and I, then there is space to put um, heatsink over that I recommend and the battery is included also and this is the heatsink yeah I hope it was useful let me know in the comments if you have some questions I have some TI quades also the one I showed you and uh, uh, yeah basically I have a run your own node let's see it goes with Raspberry Pi I have all the like series of videos like playlist and then I have the good Odroid M1 that I showed you already so I hope it's useful and uh, let me know if you need some help to run a Bitcoin node thank you bye